Hi everyone, Darren the Very Creative Vegan here and thanks for checking out this video. If you are interested in my Captain Marvel review with no spoilers, I know that you guys do not want to have the film spoiled for you. I know how you like to watch the movie and I've been producing movie trailers for 25 years working with clients like Disney and Universal so I know that when you watch a trailer and it shows you the whole movie it drives you bonkers so rest assured I'm just going to give you an overview because I saw the film yesterday and tell you what I think. So you're probably wondering what does Marvel's Captain Marvel have to do with veganism? Well the main thing is Brie Larson who plays Captain Marvel is a vegan. That's a major thing to celebrate in a film like this. This is one of the key reasons I'm gonna to continue to do these film reviews from a vegan perspective. Disney have done it again. They released the film on International Women's Day, which was very clever, the 8th of March. And Bria Lawson, she really plays Captain Marvel, you know, quite seriously. She loosens up in a few places and, you know, it gets funny. And again, I watched the film in 3D. It's as good as Black Panther. You get to see amazing new worlds, new aliens, and you're taken right into the drama right away. New characters, new new scenarios that you don't even know. To be honest, I found it quite dense and plotty, like for the most part. And, you know, midway, I started to tire of the plot line a bit, but honestly, the last 45 minutes blow you away. It's worth sticking around for that. Samuel Jackson's in the movie, which is awesome, but they've actually de-aged him by about 40 years. You know, Samuel Jackson in real life is 71 now, believe it or not. And he looks about 30 years of age in this film. And it's amazing what they've done. You know, Samuel's actual skin has marks, little pop holes in it, which they've assimilated. This isn't Meryl Streep in Mamma Mia that looks like they've Vaseline the camera lens. Actually, it just is pretty awesome. And you know, he's in the film a lot. You know, you see more of Fury in this film than you have in any of the other Marvel films. And when he hooks up with Captain Marvel, it basically turns into a buddy movie and, you know, and it really takes off. The film is actually set in the 90s before even Iron Man came out. So the film has a really cool old school feel to it and it's got loads of great 90s tunes. There's a particular scene where they use a track from Nirvana that I particularly liked. And, you know, they, they, there's a lot of in-jokes in there that, you know, a lot of people are going to get that, you know, makes it really stand out. A lot of people are talking about this film from a feminist perspective, the fact that it's got a female in the lead role, the fact that one of the directors is female. And to be honest, it's really not as edgy as Black Panther. And, that you know, there are some, you know, great feminist themes in there. But, you know, DC did beat Captain Marvel to the gates with Wonder Woman. And it will be interesting to see which out of the two films is going to do the best at the box office. You know, one thing is for sure, Captain Marvel is here to stay and you know she is going to lead the next set of Marvel films as always with Marvel movies do stick around after the film is finished there are two awesome teaser scenes that are going to be building up to Avengers Endgame which I'm going to review next month also while watching Captain Marvel I got my hands on the new vegan almond bliss bar I'm a huge fan of the nut spread and the dark chocolate so I tried this watching the film and to be honest, guys, it's just a bit too sugary for my taste. I don't have a huge sweet tooth. I love chocolate, but I like my chocolate to be raw, to be dark, for the cocoa to be up to like 70 or 80%. So it's nice, gave me a bit of a buzz, but mainly that was from too much sugar. So keep up the good work, Vigo. I'm sure some of you will love this. But for me, I'd give the Vigo bar maybe six and a half, seven out of 10 to chomp on while you're watching a great movie. You know, some parts of Captain Marvel people are going to find a bit sugary as well, but to be honest, you know, Marvel haven't dropped the ball yet and they haven't done it with this film. You know, they keep expanding the storylines, they keep expanding the characters, and they keep expanding the universe. And also, because, you know, it's the first female superhero lead in a Marvel film. We've got to celebrate that, that's for sure. You know, veganism is being led by women around the world. You know, I've saw that in the press again. It's great to have actresses like this in a major movie role who are vegan they get the message out there people see it in the media and the press and it just spreads the word about the movement globally which is absolutely awesome so from a vegan perspective what's different about this film well actually there's a ginger cat in this film that basically looks like the cat out of alien and effectively without giving anything away it practically steals the last half of the film and is really hilarious so check out the cat in this movie so on my veganometer i would give captain marvel eight out of ten mainly because it features an awesome cat 
So I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like and comment and subscribe to my channel. It's a pretty new channel, so I'm going to be doing a video once every week, every two weeks. It's going to vary from reviewing movies, from talking about what I do with vegan clients, to just talking about basically creativity as a whole. So I hope you enjoy it. The videos are going to have a variety to them. I'm going to try out a few things. Some things might work, some things might not. But, you know, that's the whole point of doing this stuff, isn't it? To see what you guys like, what you don't like, and your feedback is really important to me. But if you like this video, Video, please check out this video here which is a long detailed review of a course called Consulting Accelerator which I've been doing for 10 months and it's a course by a guy called Sam Ovens I put a lot of work into this review if you want to be a super powered entrepreneur in your business then this course honestly guys and girls is for you so check please check out my review it's here click that to view and again thanks for watching please be a creative vegan and use your own unique voice to share the message. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.